What's good, YouTube? Welcome to my channel, man. My name is Diva Tequila, and I appreciate you being here. If you're seeing this, know that I love you. Hope you have a wonderful day. Today, we've got another banger with Moira. Uh, I was playing with my homies Bullet and B-Rabbit. This is actually my highest ever damage game with Moira. Just kind of blew my mind. Actually, before we loaded into this game, I told them I really want to get a banger here, so... Forgive me if I'm absolutely sweating my balls off. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's what I did, man. This one ended up going all three rounds, kind of back and forth all three rounds as well. Uh, yeah, like I said, I had my most damage. I also had close to 20k heals as well. So, pretty big game on all fronts. Um, here I was talking to Rabbit. I was telling him, as we're trying to take the, the point the first time, we should have just beat them to the point. And then we get into like a... We get into this little awkward back and forth battle with them but they have the the position whereas we could have been battling it out with them on the point and you'll notice that this first fight kind of gets drug out a decent bit you know what i mean it's it's quick play not too many people get like the crazy pigs here we got the reaper so we technically have a 5v4 advantage here um, but it would have been a lot cleaner and then i just sold there i had my fade up and everything um but it would have been a lot cleaner if we had just taken the objective first, or at least fully contested the objective first. Um, but because we took like the passive approach, uh, basically they got to fight from like an advantageous position this entire time, and we got forced to like funnel into them as opposed to them funneling into us. It's okay. It's okay. We're learning as we go. You know what I mean? Bottom line, I shouldn't have given them the the free kill either way, and. Uh, I think that was kind of the the first domino that fell on our team. We still at that point I think had the 5v4 advantage, but I'm obviously one of the healers and I went down, so it is what it is, baby. It is what it is. Yeah. So pretty much this in, this entire round we're having to like you know play catch up and fight on our heels, which isn't isn't obviously the best situation you want to be in, but I yeah, mean you gotta improvise, adapt, overcome. We got the Lucio down early, we got the Moira down here as well. Pretty big. Oh Lucio already came back, so Lucio's dead again. Easy peasy. I really wish I had kept Bullet alive there, just for the, the cleanness of that team fight, but they don't have anybody to contest at the moment anyway, so it's okay. I preemptively started wincing there because I had flashbacks of how awkward that moment was about to become. Yeah. Yeah. That just comes down to having a much better game awareness and knowing for sure, like, obviously the Lucio is going to come follow the dude. That's, you know, less than half health now on the edge of the map as well, and then I just, I just let him boot me. It's okay. It's all good. It was, a. Uh, it was an aggressive move at least. If I'm gonna make a mistake and get punished, at least it was because I was at least it was because I was overly aggressive. And not just playing on my heels the whole time. So I'll take it. I'll take it. Doing my absolute best here to keep my health orbs circulating. Faded behind the sim to get the sim dropped. I should have used my health orb up on the left half of this building here. I realized that too late into it. I thought we were backing up some, but that's okay. That's okay. Rabbit and I, d I think, do a really good job here of, of at least stalling. You know what I mean? We've still got the point capped, so we've, we've definitely like covered this gap a little bit. And then I, and then I just, <laughs> and then I just get clacked, man. Honestly, the the Sigma ult was perfectly timed there. Uh, I didn't have my fade up for that exact moment, and yeah, kind of got, kind of got whomped for it. It's okay. It's okay. So the first round's a L. First round's a L. What are you gonna do when your back's on the wall? Are you gonna crumble? Or are you gonna fight your way through it? Only got a few options, baby. Only got a few options here. So rabbits on Arisa. I think bullet swaps here. 
off a of junk rat? I'm not entirely sure, and I obviously I stay Moira the whole time. I stay Moira the whole time. But at this point, I'm kind of in rabbit and bullets here. Like, bro, come on. <laughs> I ain't trying to take no free L's, man. Okay, bullet starts off on Farah. Okay. I don't think he plays the whole round out on Farah. But we'll see. And they've got, you know, Sigma, Reaper, Sim, Lucio, Moira. So. I'm screaming at Rabbit at this point. We see that the Moira faded in, which means that the Moira can't fade back out. So Moira has to be a free kill there. Just trying to be hyper aware of our surroundings at this point and trying to trying to coach our way through it. Here we should have the huge advantage. They got the Reaper down as well. So for a moment we have a 5v3 here. Bullet gets clacked somehow, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Lucio got the sim, so that's okay. And then, you know, we we lose the advantage. Which is crazy, because we did have the 5v3 for a bit. I'm not sure... I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, but we obviously low-key kind of sold. My fade should have repositioned me, I think, behind the building again. So that way I wasn't directly in line of sight, and I would have been you know, ready for the the faster re-engage, but say la vie, baby. Say la vie. I think you learn so much more in losses and in really, really, really close victories than you ever will in a, a steamroll victory, right? So, that's good. I should have probably led with my damage orb here, so I could have gotten the pick on the Lucio before he had time to ult. Um, but that's okay. It was still a really good, uh, you know, aggressive ult, more or less. Yeah. Ends up being somewhat ineffective because I wasn't able to keep the Arisa alive through it. So, and now we're faced with this awkward situation again where we got a one v two. I fade over to keep my baby alive though. That was a that was a good fade in my opinion. It was a good fade in my opinion. We get the Lucio low health as well. I don't know how he just oh that word missed. Ugly, ugly, ugly. And then our Lucio falls off the damn map. <laughs> Come on, dog. That fucking pocket Moira Arisa right there. Ain't nothing like it. The good ult on Bullet's part, I think he should have. I think he should have ulted and then came back outside and let me heal him up a bit and then wrap around the outside, you know what I mean? But it's okay. I think we're still killing it here. We're doing all right at least. I needed to go ahead and preemptively ult here, I think, just to keep the Arisa alive. But looking back at it in full time as well, I had my healing orb up. So I probably could have done a good job of, of getting it bouncing there. Um, but it ends up leading to us taking the objective when they're at 99%. We already lost the first round. We lost the first round and now they got it to 99%. We retook it in overtime. So you can see how this is getting ready to shape up. This is this is a game that I'm really proud of, to be honest with you. This was an insane game, in my opinion. The fact that the Sim actually was able to successfully dive on point and pick Bullet off makes me <laughs> makes me absolutely furious I don't I don't know what played out on bullets point of view but I'm almost tempted to go back in and look because he should have his health pull up his soldier and then we also have the Lucio running around as well the only thing I can think is that she came in immediately put down three turrets and, and bursted them I don't know I don't know this one was also, I could have timed this ult a little bit better, but at this point, I'm trying my absolute best to play extremely, extremely aggressive. I, I realize that the margin for error is literally non-existent. If we give up the point at all, we lose. So I wanted to go ahead and just ult and you know, do my best to keep everybody alive. The Symmetra was extremely annoying. I do think that the Symmetra was was like definitely a highlight of their team. Uh, 
played around their their turrets and her little portals very well. It was just a very annoying character to deal with. Good old by Rabbit here. I wish he had charged it up a little bit more. Um, but unfortunately they activated the Lucio in the middle of that as well, so that one's going to be hard to deal with regardless. I think we're doing an extremely good job here of, of dancing around and fading back and forth between uh, you know, my back line and their back line to look for picks and also make sure that everybody's staying alive. I think, I think I'm going to pat myself on the back just a little bit here. Rabbit obviously does insanely well. Bullet came in with a huge ult. Now we got to try to pick off the Lucio before they have a chance to reset here on point. Okay, bet. We got the sim as well. And then we got the big uh, big wall put up. So we lost the first round. We were down 99-0 to zero in the second round. And we stall them and come back. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Pretty insane. Pretty insane if you ask me. And now we've got one round left. One round left to, to cement ourselves in history as the greatest Moira of all time. <laughs> but JK, JK, JK. Maybe the happiest Moira of all time. They don't make any swaps? Okay, no, their Symmetra just swapped to Junkrat. Okay. I, I members now. I members. Well, it starts off on Soldier. We have the 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 May as well. That's really good. I'll take that combo. Would have been huge there, I think, if we had gotten the early pick on the junk while he was in the air. But that's completely fine. We got the Reaper instead. We take that. Trying my best to to get the supports low and also be aware of where my deeps are at. The Lucio was extremely annoying as well. I was already, before this round even started, I had already, damn, my fade just came up as well. I should have played behind that pillar a little bit longer. I kind of just mindlessly wandered forward a little bit. But I was already in game chat before this round started and gave everybody their props, the, the enemy team as well, because this was this was by far the most enjoyable game of the night last night. Um, it was really, it, it was a good one. Yep. And they picked me off, but that's a, that's a good clean pick. I can't be too upset with that. Um, they didn't pick me on anything overly impressive. I just I just genuinely misplayed. We got the big freeze here as well. I was a little bit late to react. I did dodge the junk rat ult though, so that was okay. Unfortunately, unfortunately they picked us off as well. So I think we lost that engagement. Oh brother. Oh brother. The Reaper just decimated my dog through the heels as well. If I had had my health orb bouncing around, maybe. Maybe we could have kept him alive through that, but that's a rough one. So we got one kill off the soldier ult. That's good. That's good. We'll take it. We'd like it to be a little bit better. I don't know what the Lucio did there. Our Lucio, you'll see the scoreboard at the end. No shade, obviously. I love you. Have a wonderful day. Our Lucio had definitely had some suspicious deaths. That's okay, fully. This was, you know, quick play on a, on a Monday night. So I recognize not everybody's trying to trying to sweat and go for clips here, but I was. <laughs> I was locked in. Do we get the junk here? No, we don't. They do a really good job of, of grouping back up here. And then the Reaper picks me off. My uh, I, my fade ended in a very, uh, uh, I would say, a disadvantaged position. Again, I should have played around that middle pillar a little bit better. And they come in with the, the huge Reaper ult and finish up. So they won the first round. They had us 99-0 for the second round. We came back and won. 
They took the lead early, then we took the lead back. Now they're about to take the lead back. I mean, this is just a really good, really good back and forth game the entire time. I, I thought this was a very, very, very enjoyable game to play. Watching it back as well. Pretty dope, man. Pretty dope. This one was a little sweat fest. I heard the junk rattle too late. Too late. Unfortunate. I had my fade up as well. So for me, that's a that's a measure of uh, what's considered an excusable versus an, an inexcusable death. Um, if I die playing aggressively, that's that's okay. Uh, if I die playing aggressively and I still have my fade up as well, though, I just have to respond and react quicker. That's re that's really what it comes down to. Now they've got it down to overtime again. My heart rate. <laughs> My heart rate's going crazy here. Huge Lucio. Congratulations, Lucio. We got the early Moira pick. We got the Reaper. I die, which is almost a hard throw here. Because obviously I, I leave them with, with one healer. But we did trade Moira's. We trade Moira's and then the Lucio picked off. Lucio picked off the Junkrat. My baby B Rabbit picked off the Lucio as well. And we ended up getting the recap. So not every time is a death going to be, you know, the end of the game. But obviously, obviously, the more uptime you have, the more damage and healers you're able to put out. So would have been nice if I didn't die there. But when I watched back the kill cam, the junk rat did just, uh, I mean, he, he got me. I think I was doing a good job of, of playing around the middle that last one, but... This one I saw as he put his his thing down, his little ult down. So I was able to avoid it. Oh, buddy. Nervous as hell here. Nervous as hell. Now we got the the Mayo, Mio, Mayo, whatever. <laughs> With the Arisa ult stacked up in the middle. I burned my ult to start the fight. 99% to 99%. And we catch the dub. And we catch the dub. That one was insane. That was just a beautiful top to bottom game. Nothing but respect to both teams. I actually have to use the screenshots of this one again. One second. Yeah, so I finished with 36 eliminations, 26 assists, and 8 deaths. I think most of my deaths were just, you know, we were facing a really good team. The games went back and forth constantly, so it's, it's impossible to avoid all deaths. Um... Would have liked to have been a little bit cleaner. I think two or three of them were definitely avoidable debts that I had. Uh, could have been positioned a little bit better. Also could have preemptively faded a little bit. But you see we come away with the most damage in the lobby. Their tank actually ended up quitting right at the end. Which... This was such a good game. Back and forth. You, bro, you should have just... I, I know y'all lost the final engagement. But you could have just... You could have just stayed there. <laughs> You're not doing yourself any favors, buddy. It's okay. So this was my highest damage game with Moira. Uh, 17,000 damage. Almost 19,000 heals, which was almost my most heals as well. I think my most heals at the moment is right at 20,000. Their Moira obviously had a monstrous game on, in terms of heals. Uh, 27,000 heals. Kudos. I think everybody played a wonderful game. Um, if you stuck around this long, I appreciate you. I love you. Go ahead and like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know that you're having a wonderful day. I hope you stay safe throughout the week. Know that I love you. Peace.